It was the year 1959 and cops were summoned to a segregated library in South Carolina. You see, it was a whites only library and they were there to escort a nine year old black boy from its premises. Eventually, as time went by, the kid grew up, went on to do his uh, PhD at MIT and became an astronaut. The same library that denied him access today bears his name, the Dr. Ronald McNair Life History Center. 1982, 9,000 miles away, another nine-year-old boy's life shifted on its axis just a little bit. He was there in a school and his father had come there to pick him up and he was taken to the Indian Institute of Science. And as the boy walked into the auditorium, he saw there were scientists, there were research scholars, there were members of the media and uh, they were all there to meet and learn from Dr. McNair. And he happened to realize that he was the only boy there. All the space stuff went about this boy's head, but he was blown away by Dr. McNair's personal story. It was also a beautiful moment he spent with his father because he really connected with his father who prized unconventional learning. That nine-year-old boy was me. The beauty of stories is that long after the storytellers move away from the stage, their stories still remain. Welcome to the series, Stories That Shift. This is an attempt to inspire, to reframe perspective, to ensure that dots are connected between various themes. As the famous psychologist Roy Baumeister once said, 95% of the time we may spend going straight, but it is the turns that we take that determine where we end up. Welcome to stories that shift.